And in fact, somehow, oh, Albania joined the Russian bloc, right, so Serbia is getting destroyed by Albania. Sure. Greater Belgium. Really? You're the puppet of... S oh no, you're the puppet of me, okay. Fine. Um, send you over to Africa. Oh, right. Um, that's a problem. Good. 37 destroyers done for the Americans. Yeah, you want to know why that's a problem? Because I've stopped the plan, and that means that Ethiopia is not getting attacked. But that's pretty easy to fix. How is Siam going? Pretty well. Pretty well, I say. How about you go here and you do that? It's gonna be much more useful. Can we call in someone? Oh, Afghanistan, whatever, that doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's get these guys and activate the plans. Rip Ukraine. So that was okay. Oh, that's not very good. That's not very good at all, because once we get here, then we're going to be directly bordering Russia. Oh, fuck. So we're just smashing all the American fleets, that's good. Okay, let's actually get these guys. I need them to be over here in the Eastern Mediterranean. Because obviously that's where the Ottoman Empire is. Actually, the Adriatic Sea is fine because there's Albania there too. So I need to take out Ethiopia quickly because once I do, then I'm going to be able to redeploy all these guys and send them over to fight the Ottoman Empire. So Siam is almost done, that's great. They were the ones who started this mess in the first place, but oh well. We're getting more of these things. It's great. Actually, yeah, okay. I was about to say I'd really like you guys to push towards Kabul, but that's what they're doing. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty small Cossack hitman at there. Okay. So actually Poland is being really useful by being a block against Russia and Europe. How many divisions does Russia even have? Ew, that's a lot. So how is our situation going for equipment? Good. Pretty good. Great. Getting more of these doctrines is going to be pretty good. Okay, so here I need to take Asmara, I need to push over here. Oh, Addis Abeba is a little bit out of reach with five divisions in it. 
and then push south towards Somalia. Modified government is going to be not really that important right now. Uh, maybe Pacific Fleet Designer? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a opening, maybe? Uh, doesn't look like it, no. Unless the Spanish join in. In which case, yeah, that would be a pretty damn good thing, but they're not. So for now, just fold the line. Oh, and there's a bunch of Russians coming into Afghanistan. It's not exactly what I'd like to see. In fact, you guys are gonna stop the plan. Somehow you managed to lose a division. Somehow. Uh, how about we get some British Indian divisions to join the fight? Okay. Prove them for troop. I'm in one. We're gonna get Sten. Well, you're a skill 8 general with a bunch of traits, so I don't want to lose the traits. Let's get the best division possible that I've acquired. Oh boy. There aren't really many. Uh, this one's fine. And send it over to you. Where are all the other British Indian divisions, though? I mean, there's seven of them over here, but that doesn't really constitute. Okay, there's a few here. So that's that. And then, is this a New Zealand division? Okay. And there's a bunch of you bordering China. Send you over as well. A mountain offensive against the Russian army is not going to be that easy. But we have to try. If take Kabul, the Afghanis are going to capitulate, most likely. So that's what... Oh no, no, they're not going to capitulate. Okay. You must have a pretty crazy national unity. Hmm. I should really redeploy some of my air force in our areas. So let's do that. But where? Because there aren't going to be many good airfields. Yeah, there aren't really any airfields, actually. I mean, maybe over here in West Africa? Fine, I'm going to do that. That's still a huge um, air zone, so that's probably going to fail. That's a lot of enemy troops. It's Mexicans. Huh, Spanish against Mexicans. Funny. Good. Finally, Siam capitulates. And then we can redeploy these forces somewhere else. Finally. Uh, how about we get them in one group? Who is the shittiest division? You. You're going here. Then all 24 of you. How's the supply situation over here? 
pretty good. So I guess I can just send you over to Afghanistan. I'm gonna have you take the right flank. And then once you are there, I will take... Oh, I can take you off the... Pacific Theater and put you in the Indian tier Theater. Take some land doctrine bonuses. Because we need as much land things as possible. More volunteers from Poland, that's good. I really need these guys to fall. Because that will surround all these guys. Oh, shit. That's pretty bad that we cannot get these guys to fall. And it's actually really terrible. Okay, so we've got these guys surrounded. We can finally take them out. We have some supply problems. Oh, right, here. That's fine. I knew that was going to happen anyway. So over here we're doing pretty well, actually. I've managed to surround these guys. That's a pretty good thing. So if we can take that port, that will be really good. Actually, these guys are surrounded. No! Please do that. We need this out of the picture as quickly as possible. Good. Great. And then we can come back and take out these guys. Once the port is down, then they will have no supplies and they'll be dead. Okay. Let's take a aircraft designer. Heavy. Heavy is best. Ooh, we've got a bit of a breakthrough over here. We can probably take Mogadishu and trap these two divisions. Oh, never mind. They're coming out. Like, you know. And they took out my Curacier division. That's not exactly what I was looking for. Let's take out the guys in Asmara. Really, now? Oh, because you're not out of supplies, right. So 
let's get these guys and pull them over. They've actually managed to connect with America over here. Not sure if that's actually a good thing. Because they're gonna spread out their forces a lot more because of this. And then up here, I'm gonna take you guys. You guys are on the right flank, right? You guys are on everywhere, so I'm going to edit you out. Uh, gonna be hard to get the correct one. I think it's the middle one. Yeah, like that. Then once you all are in position, I'm going to activate the plan. Which should be pretty devastating. Considering we've got a bunch of divisions over there. Lessons of the Great War, great. Okay, so we've got a bit of an advance going over here, but we've got a problem. There's a lot of enemy divisions. There's a really big problem over here. I had some divisions, but now they don't exist anymore. And that's not exactly that fun. One really important thing to do right now is to take uh, Djibouti over here, because that's the last port remaining to Ethiopia. Probably should have put some troops there at the beginning of the war, because it wasn't my territory, but unfortunately, I did not do that. Okay, so these guys. Hmm. These guys are advancing. Let's try to help them out. Mm, never mind. That's a lot of convoy destructions. Uh, how is our main fleet doing? Pretty well, it looks like. Lost only one destroyer. So America should be pretty thoroughly blockaded right now. So let's switch over to convoy raiding. Okay. So we've got a bit of a good thing going over here. If we take Monrovia, that's going to be great because that's an airfield. And that's their port, main port over here, so obviously pretty important for supplies. Let's finish off these guys. Spain wants to send expeditionary forces from where? I am not sure. Uh, where are you? And the AI just likes to play games with me. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Oh. That is one of the worst things I could possibly imagine. Okay. Okay, let's activate the plans, even though that's going to be pretty disastrous. Because it's going to activate this plan as well. But over here, that's going to be pretty good. So we're going to take over Palestine. Actually, never mind. They've sent in a bunch of reinforcements. Don't want my guys to die, so I'm going to stop the attacks. Okay, these guys should be ready. Let's go. And here in these kinds of battles is really where the grand battle plan starts to become pretty good. 
when you have some good generals with good plans and lots of troops, then the Grand Battle Plan can do fairly well. Considering the terrain that we're fighting in, that's pretty important to have big bonuses like these. In fact, the supply situation is pretty shitty as well. No? So how are... Oh, okay, from here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Sorry for the saws. Uh, South Africa. Sure. Not sure which division is that. Is it here? No. Is it here? Yes. Oh, right. I do have a thing over here, but it's not really that important. I'm gonna sign him over. Oh, they relieve their troops. That's not good. There goes Afghanistan. That's gonna be a lot of troops away from that front. And they're getting supplies in, which is not good because they had a lot of troops out of supplies. And I like it that way, but... Oog. There we go, we can actually push into Tashkent, or never mind, Dushanbe. Where's Tashkent? Must be around here, right? Oh, it's this one. Okay. So, how about we reorganize that army? Once I finish off this guy, I'm gonna end the part and reorganize. That's a lot of Russians coming in. Oh, there goes Liberia. Great. I can actually redeploy these planes here. We're really going to have a much better uh, modifier. So all these guys are pretty screwed, actually. be advancing in from Western Africa into this whole area. Oh no. Not my wit Witwatersrand command. <laughs> Can't even pronounce that. Okay. So let's reorganize over here. Fuck these plans. Okay. Fuck you as well. Um, okay. No! Why would you do that? Okay. You'll go up to that... Mm, no, I'll, how about up to that place over there? And you'll go like that. So your objective will be to go over here. What? Where'd you go to Japan? Uh, your objective is going to go here. Uh, 
uh, the supply situation seems much better right now. So that's good. And then you guys, along with... Well, British India technically sent in troops, but... I don't see it. Oh, these three. You're going to be in this part, and you're going to go right up to the Aral Sea. No! What did he do? Why? The actual shit is that. Sixteen Division Commonwealth P Army, which is this one. Okay. So I want all the divisions. And then I don't want you to go back around. I'm gonna think about that later. When you guys in What the fuck? Oh, I hate the interface sometimes. <sighs> it thinks it's a run. Ridiculous. There we go. That should be a little bit better. And then we've got an airfield here as well. However, eh, I don't really think there's going to be that much of a need to get bombers over here. Well, I'd really like close air supports, but unfortunately... Yeah, great step is pretty great in terms of size, so close air supports would be a terrible decision. How about we get these two, a few of these divisions, over to Palestine? Because that's going to be really useful. And then, I guess... I'm going to reaffirm my superiority over here and then quit. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough for now. I'll get back to you in the next part where we will probably try to fight Russia and the Ottoman Empire. And then after we take them out, we're going to go for America. That's a lot of convoys. And then in the end, finish off by taking out Poland. You. It's like six divisions. That's too many. Can I finally take out these guys? Is that going to be allowed to me? No. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be it.